Cool, we're rolling. Hey, welcome back Design Squad and in this Design Tool Tuesday video where I'm gonna cover some of the best design tools I find out there in the market and most applicable to, you know, product designers, user researchers, service designers who need some boost in their daily lives, in their daily operations and design processes. And, you know, it could be anything, plugins, free resources, design system, starter kits like this today, which I'm gonna review in a minute. And so buckle up because we have an amazing tool today to review and its design system called details you can find it as usedetails.com go there immediately and download a free atomic design system based design system kit for sketch or figma now the free version of it has most of the components and starter elements you would need in any design system so if you ever thought about starting a design system you can check my video on how to do it in sketch and an atomic design fashion i have over 10 episodes covering every from processes to technical aspects of getting started doing it hands-on basically even if you go through those videos you're gonna find this very useful because you can just download and then rearrange bits bit by bit so you start with this very simple template where you have let's say a style guide colors buttons controls fields elements icons and so forth and it's a very basic kit to start off with but then you can go from there and change everything you need to match let's say your brand for the new service or a new product it also covers the molecule let's say which is basically a build-up from the atoms and a combination of atoms and as you can see in this design system there are quite a few of them again these are the starter material from for example web interfaces or apps then you have organisms and then you can take it into templates into pages and then produce your pages in a scalable in a very effective way working with developers and handing it over in a very consistent fashion and you know that's a very brief summary of what design system is if you don't know go to the playlist link down below to check exactly my videos uh, the tutorial videos of how to do it properly and how to do it right but without further ado imagine that i just downloaded it and imagine that i open it in figma in sketch you're going to see exactly the same thing basically because figma is is very close to sketch apart from it being cloud-based but as you can see immediately i have these stylings let's say colors and all of them are predefined here as variables let's say so if i would let's say detach it or if i want to update that color I could just go and pick a new shade and let's say let's pick something crazy like orange and as you can see boom immediately the buttons changed in the shade so it's scalable design system whatever you change on that atomic level the smallest bits is going to permeate and it's going to trickle down into different mockups as you can see that grapefruit orange color just permeated and changed a lot of different bits across the fields because it was the key color from icons and so forth and let's say you can change every single bit here but it's a starter for a design system just imagine the possibilities where you can take any brand any product or service and start rolling it out using this template and just as an example let me show you one bit which i use details design system as a starter and i called it vanilla ds which is basically vanilla design system which i can then work with going forward for whatever project and i have atoms and molecules i made a division for their design system just splitting those things because for me a label and a checkbox is a molecule because the two different things could be atoms but to me that's molecular level i like to keep my atoms very basic so for example color shades, shadows, textiles, button styles and as you can see I just reused most of it but I added my own twist, my own colors, my own shadings and material design icons from Google for Android devices and whatnot for any material UIs and when I rolled out the molecules to permeate those colors the stylings for input fields, the stylings here, but it's almost the same thing, but in details with a little touch of my own. So I used it as a very basic ground to then build up on top. And let's say if I roll out this vanilla design system to any of my clients or anything else, I can then update quickly colors. I can update textiles with what's most appropriate to the case and then call it a day. The next step, what I would do, I would definitely create a new page, let's say for organisms or continue for molecules, but it's very easy to do. So let's say if I would go and, and it doesn't matter if I use details right now or my own adapted bastardized version of it. I could just go to organism and imagine that they want to make a form, which is our organisms. I would go to controls. Maybe, I don't know. I need that checkbox. Maybe I need a button, something crazy like that. And maybe I need also like some sort of switch 
or something along those lines. And so I can arrange different bits together and make it so it actually makes sense to the end user. I'd imagine that this is a form what I want to roll out when as an algorithm into my templates and pages. So you get the drill, it, it allows you to do it scalable. Again, it doesn't matter what you use, be it Figma libraries or its sketch components, it doesn't really matter because you, you, it's the principles are all the same. And so I would advise you to explore it. If you can support the offers, do so because then you can get predefined molecules, predefined organisms. There are plenty of different bits which you can basically reuse immediately if you like this starter design system, which is probably one of the best I've seen so far because it's very easy to adopt. And that's the most important bit. You need to understand immediately how you can apply it and how it can add you value so you can add value to your users, your business, your stakeholders, and so forth. If you like this video, give a like, subscribe to this channel, share with a friend who's maybe a designer or a user researcher or someone who's actually shaping better services for the end user. And as per usual, until next time.